Hello guys and welcome back to my channel, it's Del and I am back again today with episode 6 of Football Manager 2015 Season 2. In today's episode we have got important games against Mallorca and Barracaldo. Now Mallorca sat in 11th and Barracaldo on 19th, whilst we sat in 21st. Although we do have a game in hand over about half of the teams, that's not a good place to be in unfortunately, so this is absolutely vital that we get some good results. Uh, results today. We've also got the next round of the Spanish Cup coming up, or the draw for the next round of the Spanish Cup straight after this game. And there's a couple, well there's one email I think that I want to uh, show you guys. It's not the Society one, that was there from last week. It's this one. Camille is unfortunately out injured for about five weeks, which is a bit of a blow to us. Instead we are now playing Danny Bautista. Held a team meeting with my players. They weren't happy, basically, with how we've, how the team's been doing. They feel it was down to my management. So I said, OK, guys, we're going to set up a new tactic. That's exactly what I've done. We're running with a 4-2-2-2 with the uh, two defensive midfielders. We're stacked in the defensive mid position. This league is a lot more difficult than the previous league. I figure playing a bit more defensively wouldn't be a bad option, basically. So we're there playing that 4-2-2-2. We've got E-Rice and Ongba. Uh, defensive mid for this game. Heavier over on the left, Font over on the right. Eniko is still currently out injured. I, not in, not Eniko, sorry, Sosaito, sorry, he was injured and he's still recovering from injury. So we're just going to play Font on the right for this game. Although I might play him on the bench instead of. Yeah, I'm going to play him on the bench instead of Salvador. That is just an option. Um, we've got heavier over on the left. Then we've got Severo and Davies up front because we cannot play. Om 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 Omoigui because this is we're loaning him from Mallorca and he's unable to play against his actual parent club, which is unfortunate. Then back four of Bautista, McCarthy, Vila and Calderon. And obviously Esteban in goal. Running with a mentality of standard. We are at home, but we are slight underdogs. Team shape structured, like I said, I want it to be more defensive. The team instructions I've ran with for this week. We've got be more disciplined. But use the offside trap. We haven't done that too much, but I figure it's going to work in a more defensive strategy. Got to prevent the short goalkeeper distribution, drop deeper, float crosses into Severo's head, and then more direct passing as well to try and hoof the ball up to the midfield and the attack. So anything we need to change, we'll do it in game. Let's submit that team and get straight into this. I'm hoping for a strong performance from Craig Davies would be very, very nice. What other games are going on? How are Caddy's doing. Oh, Caddy's a bottom. They got promoted with us, and they're doing a slightly worse than us on in terms of goal difference. Hmm. So yeah, this is pretty much a vital win to uh, get out of the relegation zone. Continue opposition instructions. Joshua Lopez. Focus on Sergio Leon, Abaddon, and Michael Pereira, and also Manuel Arana. Okay, continue to team talk. Since we're the underdogs, we need to step up our game. Yeah, I figured that would probably have a good response. I have faith in you. No response from Craig Davies. Heavier. It looks pretty good. But then all of the defence. Fantastic. Let's jump straight in. Playing against the red and black in our blue and white. I really uh, not happy being in the relegation zone at the moment. There we go. First highlight is over. They put their header over the bar. 10 minutes gone, not much has happened. Vila's taken a knock, but he's just going to stay on the pitch. And those are rarely serious. Because they always think they can shake it off. On the straight forward, Severo! Oh, he was offside. Not a bad uh, play, though. Cannot find any shots, and we're not keeping the ball. It's not a good uh, sign. I'm thinking, like, I was considering before putting on retain possession. I know I've had bad things to say about it previously, but I'm thinking in a more defensively minded strategy, it might work, but I don't know. We're going to see how this goes. It is the first game with this formation. Just also, oh, Craig Davies has just lost the ball. I don't want to risk losing my job, to say the least. That's never a good penalty. It is fantastic. Who's taking it? Is that Severo? It is number nine. Craig Davies got taken out. Come on, bury this Severo. Get him. Sent the keeper the wrong way just before half time. It's a penalty, but it's still a goal. I will take that. Moved up to 18th position. Should hopefully go into half time now unscathed. 
<laughs> Omnibus is apparently not doing very well, and neither is Font. This isn't Font's natural position really, but I didn't really have any other options. Happy... I did not mean to click that, my finger slipped, that's my mistake. Uh, you weren't that bad, but I believe you can still improve. Let's roll with that, see if we can improve them a little bit. Okay, um, looking at this, I think I'm going to bring on Generilo for Omba. Does Generilo play well as the deep line playmaker? Yeah, he's not bad as it, so we can leave it at that, but maybe more of a support. Does that change? Moves him further up the field in his positioning and also introduces long shots. Yeah, we'll roll with that. Um, hmm. Might bring Society on for Font in a little bit. Can't risk Batista being sent off though, so I might take him off for Sergio or Rubio in a little while. Yeah, let's just roll with this. Just stick it on control. Try and control the game now we've got the lead. Yeah. Okay, hopefully this should, uh, oh, in my head that makes sense. Header got cleaned up there by Pereira for Mallorca. Is that, gets someone there missed the tackle. Oh, good save from Esteban, fantastic. Not too shabby at all, they've got a throwing, can we with intercept possession? Doesn't look like it. Just, ah, bollocks. Bollocks, bollocks, bollocks. Now do we try and counter this and go on attacking, or what do we, I don't know. I'm going to say attack. Ooh, dirty challenge. Let's get him off, ref. Get him off. Yellow card, okay. I'm thinking attacking, but I don't know. Might be a mistake. We're never very, never very good from set pieces. Something I've noticed, which is undoubtedly an issue. Set pieces are a difficult thing to try and um, improve at in this game. Good interception there from Calderon but he's just cleared it straight out to company with a C rather than a Vincent company. Just We're just letting them run through. Good save from Esteban though. Okay, I can't roll with this. I'm going to stick it back on standard. I'm going to pause it with 10 minutes past half time. Font's got to come off for Sosaita. Sosaita, I think, plays better with the attacking role. His positioning is really bad, though. Oh, it's because he plays better as a winger, that's why. Yeah, let him play with that. And then we've got one more sub we can make. Um... It's either Sergio for Vila or Bautista, I'm thinking. Let's leave it for the time being, actually. And I'm just having a look at this. Pump ball into box, shoot on sight. Disagree with shoot on sight. And I'm thinking about changing that to retain possession. Disagree with pump ball into box and go with... None of them, really. Oh, mm. Yeah, okay, let's roll with that. Push higher up as well. Okay, let's try this out. Quite a few changes I've made there. I need to try and counteract all that Mallorca are chucking at us. They've just hit the woodwork. We're in possession, but it's McCarthy all the way back in defence. Back to Esteban. Cleared the ball to Severo. He's headed it down to Heavier. Heavier's dribbled past one. Played it back to Severo. Severo's played it across to Generilo. To Craig Davies. To Sosaita. Oh, he can't bury it. Sosaita with the corner, though. If we can keep up that style of play, then we'll in inevitably get a goal eventually. That was an ambitious shot flow there from Sosaita. Calderon's not looking good. Hmm. Okay, before he makes a mistake, I'm going to have to make the sub of Calderon off for Rubio. Yeah, it's going to have to be that. I'm not sure what Rubio's best role is yet. I haven't got used to playing him. Does he play well as a wallback? A, a wallback? A wingback? Crossing dribble. Yeah, he doesn't play bad, actually. He's a fairly solid all-round fullback, is Rubio. So, yeah, we'll play him there with the attack mentality. 
Encourage our players to make try more long balls forward. All right, fine. We'll make those changes. Rubio. He's crossed it across Severo. Oh, he's been challenged by Vallejo. Or Vallejo. I don't know. Not, do, do not speak Spanish. Actually, this is really, uh, I'm really toying with my thoughts here. I disagree with that. I'm going to put it back to retain possession. Hold on, what was... Yeah, we're still on push higher up, okay. Yeah, let's roll with that. Good save from Esteban, that's fine by me. One all currently, I do want to push for the win in all honesty. But I can't afford the loss, a point is better than no points at the end of the day. Yeah, there's only five seconds left, it looks like it's over and done with. It is, it's one all. Okay, I suppose we've upset the odds. Yeah. What do I to A lot of people are wrong in avoiding defeat. I suppose so. I mean, can't complain too much. Ended up keeping Bautista on and he didn't get sent off. Craig Davies apparently played very well. Yeah, okay. Oof. Good God, they dominated us in terms of stats. Holy crap. That sticks us in 19th with three points, three draws, three losses. Still haven't won yet this season, which is uh, a little bit, a little bit dodgy. Uh, we are gonna, I'm gonna carry on recording just through this until tomorrow when the Spanish Cup third round draw is. So I'll capture that on camera as well. Are you, are your players concerned by the club's form? The team's aware we're not playing at our best. What sort of impact do you think getting goals? It did have. It, I think it did actually affect the game, to be fair. Paul Sindros. I don't want to comment on individual performances. I did not really notice him, to be honest. Okay, inbox. We've got... We can turn this around. Atlante television coverage. Now, Spanish Cup third round draw. Not yet. I've still got to wait for Valladolid to play Almeria. They lost 4-0. Hmm. Okay. Here we go, it should be up next. Spanish Cup third round draw, there it is. View draw, 22 teams with 11 matches to be drawn. Still don't have Liga BBVA, I don't think. I thought we did, but apparently we don't. Apparently Orihuela have got a bye. Let's just draw all teams. We've got Alcoson, Alcochon in the same league as us, unfortunately. We weren't fortunate enough to get a team in the league below. They're currently sat in ninth. Okay, well, we've already beat Albacete, who are currently in, I don't even, 15th, so we can beat Alcotron, who are in 9th. Should be no problem there, but then again, we have just, we haven't exactly been playing well. But I'll be back with you guys just before our final game of this episode against Barracaldo, which is undoubtedly a must win. I'll be back with you guys in a second. Okay guys, we're here just before the game against Barracaldo. This is undoubtedly a must-win game. They're currently in 19th, I believe we're in 21st. Not a good place to be in whatsoever, still sat in the relegation zone. Caddies have unfortunately carried on improving, now two points above ourselves, but we have got a game in hand and achieving a win here would propel ourselves above them. So like I said, absolutely vital. So let's jump straight in. We do play in the next episode, Barcelona B and Recreativo. After that is when we have our cup game against Alcorson or Alcochon, not sure how to pronounce that. We're running with the same formation, the same tactic we did in the last episode, except this time changed a couple of, couple of the players up a little bit. We've got Sergio and Rubio in defence instead of McCarthy and Calderon. We have got Susaita and Eniko on the wings instead of Heavier and Font. And then I've also kept Craig Davies up front. Amoigi is back for this game, but I've got him on the bench as a super sub if we need it. I've also got Arnaz on the bench in case we need to play Amoigi, Amoigi sorry, at left mid, because he can also play at left mid. And then we might have to play Arnaz up front, for example, in place of either Severo or Davies. I've got Calderon and McCarthy on the bench along with Generilo and Font as well. Playing with a control mentality. Haven't changed any of the instructions. Kept it with the... No, I'm moving it to the flexible team shape. Or, yeah, the fle flexible team shape. And I'm going to roll with that. I believe we are just favourites, according to Skybet. According to the Football Post. 
it's a draw. So, I don't know, it's going to be close. Most of the games in this league are going to be close. It's pretty much going to be the same uh, same ending every time. Your team selection today suggests a change of tactic. Well, yes, but it was a change of tactic last game. So, yeah, just a few subtle tweaks. I don't know, to be honest. I don't know who Arroyo is, so I don't know how big of an absence it's going to be for us. Continue to the opposition instructions. Here's that. Galda Keragiri. Okay. Let's continue to the team talk. Let's go with... I fully expect you to end our poor form here. Nothing except for... Severo nodding in, nodding in agreement. Okay, nothing for you have faith. There we go, three of the midfield and all the defence. No, three of the defence. Okay, let's go. This is it, guys. This is where we get a win. Barracaldo, like I said, much win game. We're at home. If we're going to get a win from anywhere, it's going to be here. So let's bloody do it. Cusidor is holding on to the ball in the middle. Less than a minute in so far. We'll play with Williams, played it back to Tina. That was bloody close. That was closer than I expected it to be. They've got another free kick. They seem to be... If they get another highlight next, I might tone it back a little bit, just back to standard, because they just... came out the starting blocks a little bit quicker than we did. Struggling to get shots away. With the struggling to get shots away, does that mean... No, it, d it means pump ball into box, not direct passing. Hit early crosses. Okay, I was making sure it didn't put on shoot on sight because I really disagree with shoot on sight. Never ends up uh, coming up big. It's just like relying on wonder goals. And when does that really ever happen? That's why they're called wonder goals. Craig Davis has been quite error prone today. That's not a good thing. Get stuck in. Hey, let's go. Fuck. Okay. Okay, let's tone it down a little bit. I don't want to go to counter, but let's just tone it back down to standard. Can we get one straight back? No, it doesn't look like it. Bollocks. Okay. It's alright. No need to panic just yet. We're only half an hour in. Only a third of the way through the game. Still two thirds to go. Jesus Christ. Esteban, where were you going? This one just felt like going for a walk then. That was crazy. Can't believe they didn't actually score from that. Kevin Jiria, that was the player we were told to go in strong on by Joshua Lopez. Hasn't really worked so. And again, he just skips the highlight. Davies is not playing well. I don't want to make a change until half time. Let's go counter instead because they are really all over us. Good defensive head though. That's gone out for a goal kick. Come on, can we now get something from this? Nobody is playing well. Whatsoever. Okay, make changes. 46 minute. Okay, half time. They're really not playing well. Do we even want to win this match, really? Craig Davies is coming off. For. Um, now I've got to make a decision. Is it Ardenas or Omoigui I bring on? If it's Ardenas, I've got to leave Eniko on for the rest of the game and hope that he doesn't get sent off. I'm thinking it's a Moigui though. Yeah, let's do that. He plays better as an advanced forward. Let's roll with that. And then let's... I can't, I'm not going to bring off Sosaita. It's either Rubio... If I bring off someone else, it's either got to be Rubio or Bautista. I don't really want to bring off either, if I'm honest. I could do Sergio to there and then Bautista off for McCarthy, actually, that could work. What's Sergio's best role? That seems fine. Yeah, fullback seems fine for him. Okay. Let's roll with that. Moigui picked up a knock. Society with the free kick. Hasn't gone in. Typical. He's been on for two minutes and he's picked up a bloody knock. I'm not, not going to take him off. I can't. I just can't afford to. Wow, that was fair play. That was that was a good free kick. That was a bloody good free kick. But seriously, Cusidor. It said off. Yeah, it's off the bar. 
Esteban stood no chance with that. All right, let's change this attacking. Let's, we're at home. Let's try and get the advantage here. On but with the long ball, and it just went nowhere. Omoibu should have turned and played it forward. I know he's injured, but come on. Not too serious. On, good challenge from Ongba, though. He's looked for the long ball. They've headed it back. Omoigui, he's getting to it. Pass it, pass it, pass it. Oh, my God. e oh, Should have just passed it across the face of the goal. Society has just been challenged. Went down like a sack of spuds. And we've given away a free kick. Severo's offside, we're approaching the 70-minute mark, and we're 2-0 down. This is, quite frankly, shit. What can I do? Arna's on for Severo. I'm going to do, I know Amoyegui's injured, but he can power through it. <laughs> that sounds really mean, but he has to power through it right now. Um, he's only a virtual character, it'll be fine. Rubio's got to come off. Oh no, I've already made three subs. Of course I have. Fuck. Okay, no, that's fine. Push higher up. Actually, much higher. Def no, push higher. Much higher defensive line. Higher tempo. Or much higher tempo. Using the intensity of their approach on Selby. Let's go much higher tempo. Exploit flanks. And, yeah, do that. This is... What are we on, 69th minute? Okay. Let's roll with that and see if it makes any form of a difference whatsoever. It could be the comeback of the century if we manage to pull this one out the bag. Even getting a draw. Oh, good grief. Thank God I managed to get these hands to that. Managed to get down well just in time. Ardenas coming off, being the big super sub for us. Here we go. This is a free kick. Back to Sosaita again. E Rice. Oh my god, he. Oh my god, E Rice hit the post. Imagine if that had gone in. The defensive mid scoring from outside the box. Okay, Sosaita's whipped it across. Played it back to Sosaita. He's done. Oh, there we go. Iniko, he's buried it. Get in. Right, this is it. The comeback's on. We've got 13 minutes. Let's fucking go. Okay. Esteban with the goal kick. This is the start of the comeback. The ball's gone straight to Barakalda. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. Probably due to the much higher defensive line that was. I'm still, I've still got faith. I've still got faith. Sosaita's has picked up a knock. They've got a free kick. Which has flown over. Okay. No. Not enough time now. God damn it. Indeed. Oh. Can we get a consolation goal? No. So say so he even put that over. Wouldn't have even counted for anything and he still couldn't score it. I suppose it was a good goal from Eniko. So say so didn't play badly. Rubio played horribly, as did Craig Davies, and Omoigui, and Severo, and Bautista. Great. Continue to post-match analysis. I feel defeated. We are bottom of the table. Although, saying that, we were bottom of the table at one point in last season, and we ended up going on to win the league by a clear margin. Let's hope we can do the same again. We're currently 13 points behind the league leaders, Real Zaragoza. Hopefully, that will be flipped come the end of the season. I hope you guys have enjoyed this unfortunately bad run of games so far. Next episode, we do play Barcelona B and then Recreativo, who are sat in 16th and 7th. So, those will be... Well, I, get the, I said these were must-win games. Those are undoubtedly must-win games, but we're away for both of those. Nevertheless, I hope you guys have enjoyed If you have, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to see the rest of the episodes in the series, and I hope you guys have a good rest of the day. Bye-bye for now.
You play as Esteban, a stressed out bull with a lot of creativity flowing through his bones. Your objective is to help Esteban to create beautiful art by steering him through a collage world of various school craft textures to collect as many craft materials as possible. However, every time you steer him, Esteban becomes a little more stressed out and if you steer him too much, he'll lose all the craft pieces he's collected. You can reduce the stress by taking out Esteban's anger on poor unsuspecting walls by bouncing into them, which also raises his speed. Barraging into helpless denizens.